This is my video for the Cactus Outlaw Multigun match held May 30th, 2021. The stage begins with some close range paper. Many of the targets are partially obscured with no shoots. All of the targets are clearly visible though, so there's nothing really to memorize on this stage. Two steel falling poppers at 50 yards, then finish up on the other paper targets. There are only three people in my division at this match, so I'm going to go with overall results. I'm 12th overall with 65.83% of the winner's score. This is an unloaded pistol start. After loading, I have to engage this Texas Star obscured by the no-shoots. This is one instance where you don't want to shoot the highest target first. I take the second highest, allowing the star to start rotating, then take out the highest plate, and then I take out the other plates as they start rotating, clearing the no-shoots. I felt sloppy on the paper here, so I send more rounds than I need to. This match does allow hot reholstering, so I holster my pistol, transition to rifle, engage these close-range paper targets, hit the activator plate downrange, which gets the swinger moving, and I send five rounds at the swinger for four hits. Only two hits were required, but better to be safe than sorry. I'm first overall on this stage, giving me 100 match points. The stage begins with a rifle spinner at 100 yards. I prone out and shoot it from my bipod. I'm using 55 grain Fiocchi out of a 16 inch barrel. There is no special trick to rotating a spinner other than making the hits. Fold the bipod up, flip the magnifier out of the way, and engage these close range paper targets. I pick to engage them all from one spot. It's an empty pistol start, I forget to rack it, but then I make quick work of the pistol targets. I'm first on this stage, giving me 100 match points. This is a pistol only stage. The shooter can engage any of these targets from anywhere within the shooting area. I opt to engage this plate rack from back here because I don't really need to move forward to make the hits with my red dot pistol. I then move over to this area, doing a reload on the way, and engage this plate rack. I will then move forward and engage this array of targets, that 50-50 no-shoot target there. I pull my second shot off the edge, costing myself a plus five failure to neutralize penalty. So unfortunately, any time I gained by not moving forward, I lost with that penalty. I am 13th with 58.92% of the winner's score. So on this stage, the shooter has eight paper targets to engage and they must perform a mandatory reload at some point. But the problem with the wording is that it does not say the mandatory reload must be performed uh, between the first shot fired and the last shot fired. So technically what you can do here is shoot all the targets, then reload before unloading and showing clear, and you're still compliant with the stage description. This is a very basic stand and deliver type stage. I opt to shoot it in the way I believe the stage designer intended by doing a reload before the last shot fired. This is a points-based match, meaning that the shorter stages are still worth just as much. So by doing the reload on the clock, I cost myself quite a bit intentionally putting me at 25th with 55.77% of the winner's score. Those few seconds are worth 20 to 30 match points easily. Another very simple pistol stage, don't shoot the no-shoots, make the hits. Do a reload on the way to the last shooting position. Now a quick review of all the targets to see that I didn't get any of the no-shoots and got all my hits where they needed to be. Got all my hits, no no-shoots. I'm at 11th with 65.97% of the winner's score. In the end, I'm first out of three shooters in stealth two gun division. Overall, I'm fourth out of 45 shooters with 90.99% of the winner's score. Thank you for watching. Come back again 
for more match and multi-gun competition content.